Welcome back to another episode of the Start This Business YouTube channel. This is the Maya Rental Car Journey mini series, and today is a good day. Today, your boy is an all star host. Finally, I, I passed the assessment, so they just gave your boy the all star host status. So, in this episode, I'm gonna go ahead and break down, um, you know what I mean, the assessment, the assessment that I had to go through, my final assessment to finally get that process or to get that status to be labeled as an all star host. Sounds good to say it, man. I even feel like my swag's a little bit different, my confidence is a little bit different. Everything is just different because I'm an all-star host now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't tell me nothing for real. I'm an all-star host. So after the intro, we're going to dive right into it. I'm, again, I'm going to break everything down for you guys and, and kind of give you guys why I'm so happy, you know, give you the insight, you know, exactly why I'm so happy and what does an all-star host actually get? Like, what's the point of it? Is it just a name or does it actually benefit me? So stay tuned after this. We're going to get into it. All right, let's do it. We're back and about to just jump right into it. Um, because honestly, I haven't logged in. Like, I haven't, you know what I mean? I haven't messed around with it since I know I've been awarded the status. I haven't gone into my profile or into my account or anything. And to be 100% honest, I'm just as excited as probably none of you guys are. So please, I'm sorry if you guys are probably wondering, like, you know what I mean? Where is all this energy coming from and why you guys should be excited? But chances are you probably won't be as excited as I am. I mean, it just kind of is what it is. But however, we are going to go through this for the first time together because I don't know what, what I'm about to see as a first time all-star host. So let's jump right into it. Bam! Congratulations. Earning an all-star host status. Enjoy the perks and keep up the good work. So I think this is a good time, actually, before I, I, I just show you guys, you know, my assessment and, and what they went through to determine if I was going to be an all-star or not. And let's learn about the perks. I mean, I think this is a good segue to that. Okay, so perks and privileges. I mean, from the beginning, I mean, this is like the first one. This is pretty much what I what I knew about. And this is the reason why I wanted to become one. Um, and you see, is this is the very first thing to highlighting which is more visibility. So of course, you'll stand out with special badging in search results and your listing in the profile. Guests can even filter their searches to easily find all-star hosts. So dope. Not only am I gonna already be at the top as well too, but you know, they're gonna decorate my profile, make it look good, or give me badges and stuff like that, I guess, just so I stand out. Hey, if it works, I'm with it. I'm with it, let's do it. Priority support. Um, and all-star hosts will jump to the top of the queue when you contact, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. I had no idea. Priority support. So yeah, you become like more of a VIP status. Okay. Okay, so I'm like in a VIP get a host. Travel credit bonus. You'll get 100 in travel credit after each year as an also host. You can cruise in comfort. Okay, okay, okay. So I guess they're giving me $100 in, in, in travel credit. So uh, I'm assuming if I go if I go out of town or if I go somewhere and I want to use someone else's car uh, on Turo, I get a hundred dollars credit, which is cool, which is pretty cool. I mean, I appreciate that. You know, a hundred dollars though, I mean, for real, you know. Again, this is all bonus stuff to me because I didn't expect it. So this is all bonus stuff to me. Extra bookings, when Turo assists guests when booking a vehicle, you'll be among the first host to call. Cool. So I guess, again, so I'm assuming if there's anything that happens with a booking or when they're guests or something like that, or emergency situation and they need to find, you know, a car or, or something like that. I guess they're going to go into the list of all-star hosts and I'm going to be one of those people. And again, I'm like this only in this elite club where there's only a couple people in there. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of all-star hosts because there's a lot of people on tour. So I'm not trying to pretend like, you know, it's me and like three other people. I'm sure it's a lot of other people. But oh yeah, all this stuff is cool. At the end of the day, this is all I care about. More visibility. So... Um, here are the, I mean, some, I guess, are the biggest perks of, of being an all-star host, but most importantly, once again, is going to be more visibility. So if this is what you're doing as a business, that's all we care about. We want to make sure that we're at the top of the food chain or the top of the, the, the list where people come into looking for cars in your area, wherever you're at or wherever you're doing business at. For me, it's Atlanta, um, which again, I sh I'm sure there's a lot of all-star hosts in Atlanta. It is what it is, but hey, I'm one of them now too. Check me out. So boom, just again, again, here's the, the criteria. 10 plus completed trips, 95% commitment rate, 95% response rate, 97 acceptance rate, and 90% five-star 
ratings. Um, yes, I know I crushed that. So let's go actually see how I did. Now that you guys got an idea, once again, here, here it is. Take a look. Boom. 100% response rate. Uh, 22 out of 22 requests. It's pretty good so far. Um, acceptance rates, 22 out of 22 requests. Commitment rates, honored 22 out of 22 trips. Five star ratings, I got 13 five stars out of 13 rated trips. And all star hoes, I did 15, I only needed 10. So, if you guys have been following this channel, you guys already know I've had all these. You know what I mean? I've already had 100%. And I was only one trip away from being an all-star host in my last assessment, which would have been back in January. So I had to wait these extra three months because of one trip. I ain't gonna go back down that road. You got, you know who you are. He actually is subscribed to his channel. Um, so he does watch, but he knows who he is and why um, I wish I would have got him a couple days earlier and I would have been an all-star host three months ago. But it is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. And we're here today. So yes, I mean, that's basically it. I got 15 trips out of 10. Um, I did 100% on everything else. They awarded me an all-star host. Now, one thing to remember, and one thing that is kind of important, is that just once you become an all-star host is not something that's just there with you permanently. Um, you do, you are still assessed. There's still gonna be assessment. As you guys can see right here, I have an assessment date of July 15, 2022. So basically what I have to do is maintain all their requirements. You know what I mean? Or they're gonna strip me from my status. As long as I maintain that these good numbers, which I don't see a reason why not to, because I am a pretty good host. You know what I mean? Let's just keep it 100. I am a good host. So I don't think that's going to change. I think even July 15th, I'll be an all-star host as well, too. Performance tips. Great hosts are prepared, responsive, and always. So um, these are just performance tips. I don't know if this, you know, look, because I'm an all-star host now, I'm, I'm <laughs> like, I'm just thinking everything comes with being an all-star host. This might have already been there. I have no idea. It, I really don't. I guess helpful for some new people to go through the performance tips. Yes, I mean, that's my next assessment date. So as long as I keep everything in check, I'm still being an all-star host. I think there are other statuses as well. I don't think that an all-star host is like the top of the line or the, the only thing that you can achieve. I do think that there are other statuses that I'm gonna check into. Um, Cause if it is, then I wanna be it. So I'm gonna check into it, but right now, I'm not gonna jump too far ahead of myself and you know worry about that. Right now, your boy is an all-star host and that's all that's important. So um, again, I just wanna break that down with you guys. Again, nothing really too much, not a long video today. Just wanna show you guys um, that I'm finally an all-star host. I finally got my numbers. Um, and just to let you guys know, kind of show you guys the perks. I mean, you guys seen it in the cell. I mean, it's not a whole bunch, but I mean, most importantly, I do get to rise to the top. And being in Atlanta, where there's a lot of people that's doing this business, it's actually helpful. And I don't care how many all-star hosts there are in Atlanta. This is very helpful, going to be very impactful for my business. So I'm excited. So I appreciate you guys, once again, liking, subscribing, and commenting at all times. It's been a very amazing trip so far. Um, and again, you know, it was an all-star host now. So stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. All right, welcome back. And we're gonna kind of jump right into it because um, honestly, I haven't seen it yet. This is my first time going through like my, my profile or, or going through it since I've been awarded this status. I haven't done it yet. So you guys are gonna be kind of like seeing it as I'm seeing it as well too. So kind of bear with me as well too. Bear with me as I go through this. Cause again, I don't know what we're about to go. We're, we're about to see. So enough talking to Whitney. Uh, uh, uh. And welcome back. So look at, I'm not even gonna, you know, honestly, shit. 